and we're back. We were on our way to Gladys. A holding pattern. Let's go. If it's between the unreliable and the rest and go, I believe I'll see the ship. Wow. <laughs> Bless my heart. A stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door. Yep. You here for a particular reason? Mm hmm Or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? Made without a single natural ingredient or an oven. Just like store bought. What? <laughs> Those have been the height of illegality since Stellar Bay turned their noses up at the board. You and I could be thrown to the void just for discussing such a transaction. Lucky for us, Groundbreaker's a free port. We're outside of the board's control. For the time being, at least. Now, I only have the one nav key. And they're hard to come by these days. It won't be cheap. If you find yourself lacking in the bits, I might have an opportunity you'd be interested in. <laughs> Phineas, that old kook. He was quite the dancer back in his prime, did he tell you? Real light on his feet. Real light in the wallet, too. He still owes me a small fortune. Laws. Maybe I should charge you double. Please don't charge me double, please. Please don't. Please don't. Well, I find I'm in need of a ship captain with a little... moral flexibility. Might be this could help out the groundbreaker, as well as earn some bits. But if you've got qualms... No qualms. Do you know Edna over in engineering? Sweet as a pea, that one. On occasion, she'll pass along transmissions I might find interesting. She sent me a recording of a distress signal she'd scraped from the Groundbreaker's comm array. Curious thing is, it came from an outpost called Roseway. And Auntie Cleo abandoned that place years ago. Mm -hmm. Can't say I know for sure. Maybe it never really was. Sounds like someone poking into somewhere they shouldn't be got into a spot of trouble. Comm centers don't operate themselves, Captain. Someone had to have sent that distress call manually. Those corps are cleverer than all get out. Might have been a ruse to keep the rest of the board from sniffing around. Right, I'm in. You've got an ear for intrigue and a nose for bits. I like that. Here's a copy of the SOS recording, complete with the coordinates. If you should find a secret worth selling, might be I could find a buyer. Corporate bigwigs will pay top bit for inside information on their competitors. The more we got the corps fighting each other, the less time they got to meddle in our affairs. Don't forget to come find old Gladys when you're done. Okay. Might want to acquaint yourself with Junlei Tennyson. Groundbreaker's chief. She's been trying to get a handle on this heat problem we've got. You'll find her fretting in engineering. I'd say she's a sweet girl, but law for fen someone call me a liar. Mm. Yes, dearie? Take that darn oh, I did this. Shouldn't be too... Um, thanks for your time. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Here, take a candy with you. Okay, so now I guess we're gonna go to the journal. Um, let's, let's see if we can go to this place real quick. I know from previous experience, I need like a certain um, security clearance or something. We're gonna see if I can hack into it where I am right now. If not, we'll just request a president to restrict the area. If you get caught inside, you'll be shot. This is it. Secure. I can check the departures registry to find out which I have the holographic shot. I mean, oh. in I'll be tough. Take us down. Oh, shite. Fuck that up. Um, can I load my game? <laughs> let's let's try this again. I thought I already had the. 
the um, the outfit. I guess I didn't. Oh, damn, damn. I tried. <laughs> I thought I already had the like the thing. Well, that was um, very unfortunate. We're here now. Okay, let's um try this again, shall we? Don't quite know where to get the outfit from. It isn't here. This is it. Security. I can check the departures registry to find out which crew chi I mean the scholar shipped in and out with. So I don't have an outfit. We'll figure that out later. <laughs> I don't remember where I bought because in my other game I have one. I'm unsure where I got it from if we're being honest. We'll figure it out. It'll be fine. Okay, now we're gonna go to Julie Tennyson. Ooh, tired. See what she got going on. They're gonna talk for a little bit, maybe a little bit too much. Be more machinery. Must be housed on a Jun Lee Tennyson. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. Mm-hmm. No, it isn't. It's a mess. But it's my mess, so I'll take the compliment. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Martins, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. No threat? Good. Don't go making trouble, and chances are you won't find any. That's how I like it here. Great. So what brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer is just passing through. Mm. Interesting. The powers that be paint an ugly picture of Monarch. Critters and such. Maybe someone in the promenade can get you the right weapon for the job. We see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprats. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different, so welcome aboard. Thanks, kid. Um... You're right, I don't. The board is after two things, bits and power, and they only get it by sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. Okay. I like to think of myself as a nice person, but if that gaudy embassy of his was on fire, I might hold my breath a moment before activating the sprinkler system. Same. The board wants control over Groundbreaker, and leeches like Udon Bedford will do anything to please their corporate masters. Dang, that's tough. I placate them when I have something to offer, but I can also be a real hard ass. It'd be a joy if I could kick out the corporate merchants and reclaim the docking fees in my lifetime. Good luck. Too much of Groundbreaker's income is flowing in the wrong direction. I'd like to see that change. I dig it. You got my attention. Frustrating. Everything down to the circuit boards is past warranty, so I have the pleasure of making life or death decisions on a shoestring budget. Beautiful. Plus, there's no time to train my successor or document fixes in a way that anyone outside the family would understand. Mm-hmm. Sure is. The Tennysons came over on the groundbreaker. My grandmother, Chief Gang, kept it together during the crossing and until she died. I was promoted only recently, when my mom died. Then I took the leap from Chief Engineer to Captain. You must have been amazing people to have taught you all you know, I mean, which is a lot. That means a lot coming from a fellow engineer. Hmm. Appreciate it. There wasn't much that took me by surprise about the job, but the little things you never expect or think about, they add up over time. Maybe you can see why I'm protective of Groundbreaker. This ship is family. It's got tinkerings and bypasses that only Tennyson's know about. Mm-hmm. Oh, gosh. I don't know. I'm really just a, a dab hand with a wrench. Nothing special. Not like a chief engineer. Girl! Don't sell yourself short. It doesn't take a seasoned pro to tinker on Groundbreaker. Just someone who knows how a ship ought to feel. We're always thirsting for help. If you could find your way around this labyrinth of ducts and panels, we could work something out. 
Mm-hmm. You see any bite-sized Tennyson children running around? I didn't think so. The next captain won't have my heritage. I'll have to foster that talent from somewhere. It's only a question of when. Mm -hmm. I hope that was a joke, Captain. I really do. I gilded that thing years ago. Now it brews a stim that goes down stronger than Nan or Spank. Family recipe. Hmm. You've got my attention. Groundbreaker's radiators need replacement parts. They're dumping superheated air into my ship. Mm. Only the board has access to new parts. And I won't let them swindle me into a corner. Surely I don't want the groundbreaker to roast. To sweat, thinking that'll soften me up for a bad faith deal. If you'll excuse me, they can go fuck themselves. Oh. The board isn't helping and my resources are spread thin. If I don't get those radiators back online, groundbreaker, everyone aboard will be cooked alive. Same. Okay. Reasonable, huh? That's the best news I've heard all day. According to my grandmother's old schematics, the parts we need should be in the back bays. Mm -hmm. Let's see where they are. Sorry, I forgot not everyone knows this ship like I do. The back bays are on a lower deck, long abandoned, and a haven for miscreants now. Mm -hmm. Those idiots are immune to reason, and they don't much care if the station melts to pieces. They're content to die last. If you could find some way to solve this without violence, I'd prefer that. But more than anything, we need those parts. Oh, well, I got you, boo. Good. Once you've obtained the parts, we can proceed to the next phase of repairs. Wait. The ship's groaning something fierce. But... What? I didn't think you just... Parvati, is it? That's a lovely name. What can I do for you? I was just thinking. I haven't got much experience working with actual, real spaceships. Miss Junlei, a uh, uh, chief Junlei. Junlei is fine. Um. um okay. <laughs> this girl. Since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if, well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later, maybe. I'd be happy to make the time, Parvati. You can ask me anything. Great. I'll do that then. Messages. Later. Oh, your your name's pretty too. I should have said sorry. I like it. Honest. Sorry. Couldn't have done it without your moral support, Captain. Oh. Now, if there's nothing else, there are other parts of the ship begging for my attention. It's sweltering in here, so let's go get these parts, shall we? And then we'll go from there. That that whole talking little bit was a good 13 minutes. Like 13 minutes too long. Oh, it's like a little elevator. That's convenient. Great, little screen. The Salvation of Emerald Vale. Miracle of the Frontier. Deserters Force of Return. A heroic stranger. Hmm. See, I'm not going to raise my stealth because I don't stealth that often. Cause like, I don't see the purpose in it. That's in all games, if we're being honest. Like even in Skyrim, like I just don't. That's just not a thing that I do. Hey, McRed, are you expecting any company? A neighbor from above approaches our realm. Back away now, or you'll parley with the king. I can parley. Look at this ripe piece of meat just sizzling on the grill. This voice is annoying. Yum yum. Time to feed the flame. Nothing personal, promise. Is this what carbon monoxide poisoning right? looks like? I don't think this deck is too well ventilated. Uh, speaking for myself, Captain, I am not of a mind to be murdered by a psychopath who plays with fire. You came with the crew. Welcome. We got plenty of space to spread out, but only room for one captain. Um. I know this ain't a toy, neighbor from above. It's a catalyst, just like me. Keep talking. I like the sound of your voice. 
I'm here for some parts. That's right, sir. Just the parts. We'll be in and out in a jiff. You won't even know we were here. Tennyson just keeps feeding the furnace, don't she? We're still playing with her last sacrifice out back with the crew. Mm hmm. You don't just ask a king for a favor when you're standing in his court. You bring tribute, sacrifices, prophecy, shit like that. But... Do I pay him? Under its skin, this ship is all poison and darkness. Lead bones, asbestos muscle. Maybe you're right. I am right. You've got the run of the kingdom. Up those stairs, you'll find the parts. My crew won't get in your way. Great. Lay it on me, boss. I'm good for it. Ship got impounded. The crew and I racked up a debt while we were grounded. And my baby got sold to sublight. Scrap for parts. Damn, that's tough. That's bureaucracy for you. Piracy with a smile. Am I your dark reflection? Shit, must be getting old. Stay here too long, and the groundbreaker drains you like a fuel tank. <laughs> you can come and go in my little kingdom. Just try not to piss off any of the gestures. Cool. Thanks, man, because, um... Even the proverbial unwashed masses would turn their noses up at this place. We'll cut them off. it this way where are the stairs so cozy what you want to call it I'm not gonna steal nothing from these fuckers because you know they let me into their area and so I'm just gonna buy my business if we're being honest but I just have to find the stairs first are they this way oh maybe they're up here here we go call to open That's it. Level 8 biz natches. See, look at me just living my best life. Dang, he's dead. Thanks. <laughs> Sometimes you just die. That took like two seconds. I guess if I wanted to kill them all, I could have, but I just wasn't interested. Oh, they probably would have had, like, some super ni- Oh, they probably would have had, like, uh, mediocre loot. I don't want mediocre loot. Wrapped in heart. Wait, 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 wait. These are, like, can, like, fight me? If so, can we not? Are these in the water? Are they on land? Raptodon. Raptodon. Indigenous fauna? Okay, it's not a mushroom, like. This is a whole animal that's probably out here trying to kill me. And to be honest, I just don't need that negativity in my life. So can we just, like, pretend? It's fine. Let's give her these radiator parts. Here you go, my love. You've returned. And in one piece. Color me impress. And it was quick. Good work. I'll take those. I need you to head through the large door at the far end of engineering. Take the elevator down into the machinery shaft. There's a terminal in the back. Activate it when I call up the ship's PA. And bring weapons. There's a slight manticular infestation. Excuse me? More than a few. Less than a hive. Nothing you can't handle. We were salvaging parts from a ship. Turned out there were eggs inside. They got into the radiators, and here we are. If every repair was a one-woman job, I wouldn't need an engineering team. As it is, my staff is busy keeping the station from melting down. You can flip a switch for me, but you can't install these parts. Not quickly, at least. Not on the first try. Able, though, you've proven to be. Great. Don't worry, Miss Junlei. We'll be super gentle with the ship. You don't got a thing to worry about. I mean, aside from fires and such. I'm genuinely heartened to hear that. Thank you. Wow. Well, you know what? I am not about to do this right now. I don't deserve this treatment. 
Um, so in the next part, I guess we're going to go down here and deal with whatever issue she says we have. We're going to go down the elevator, though. Oh, shite. Home doesn't have a weapon. Yes, he does. He has a pistol. Want this pistol? Put this on. Why not? We got some perks. Plus 10 hack. Hell, hell yeah. Pavard, you got any... Anything? No? I still... I have shit. Let me get my perk up. Um... We always need more carrying capacity, for being honest. Oh, wait. Great. Well, in the next part, we'll deal with this infestation. I can't do it right now. It's just... My, my heart can't take it. So, like, comment, subscribe. Share with all of your friends. Be the best you you can possibly be. Make good choices during this time of quarantine. Um, I love you all. Stay saucy. I'm out this bitch.